Hello, hello, hello. It's Erin Reed from Erin Reed Bakes. And today we're going to play with a little bit of something different. So this is a way that you can take your kids artwork and turn it into something permanent like this cool coaster. Look at this fun coaster. This thing is so cool. So this is not only a kids art and crafts idea, but it's also for adults. I think it's awesome. So how I made this, and then we're going to jump in and I'm going to show you how my son is turning a fun, he's making his own coaster. So in this set, there's actually four coasters, and this is from Art Esprit, and this is the markers we're using and also the ink that we're going to use. So this is, it comes with four, and I'm letting each of the kids make their own coaster. My oldest is not interested, so I'm going to make myself too. So this is an art foam stamp that I did, and I stamped it using the sublimation ink. Regular old ink is not going to work because this is going to be transferred. This heats. This is an iron on ink. And I use my regular old iron. It used to be used for clothes, but it's now just turned into my crafting iron. And you just put it on top for like five minutes, four minutes on the highest, heatest, highest, highest setting it has. So I stamped this first on regular old copy paper and just boom, stamped it. Right. And then I used the colored markers and colored it in. I flipped this over and I marked out, so you guys can see kind of like I did here, I marked out a much bigger space on my paper for where the coaster was gonna go. And then I just stamped and then colored it in. And then all I did was I flipped this over and then I put, this is a special protective paper. Basically it protects my iron because you can see there's a little bit, you guys can see this was a little bit that didn't that because the ink it, it kind of seeped through a little bit of the paper and so instead of getting on my iron and then contaminating the next one you put this layer of this paper on here which could also you can get an artist spree it's different than parchment paper and wax paper it's actually meant to take really really high heat so it's a little bit different and i could reuse this section right here which i'll use i'll use this little bit right here for the next coaster we're going to do so then i just stuck it on the heat and let it do its thing and then i pulled it off let it kind of dry a little bit and look how cool. So Brandon, and we're going to come back to the stamping part because we're going to do a cool stamp in a minute. But Brandon, are you ready? Yeah. All right, come on over, honey. So he has been preparing and he's been kind of working on one. So I drew out the space, right? So what we're going to do is remember it fits right about here, right? Yeah. So he is going to continue coloring with the markers. And what are you making here? A emoji. So do you have to use a stamp? You're going to go right here. Okay. Do you have to use a stamp to do this? No. No, not at all. So while he's coloring that, I'm going to show you how you can use the same old copy paper, like what you would put in a printer just to print whatever, and how you can turn it a stamp with the sublimation ink into a cool art piece. So what I have, oh, let's move this out of the way. That's the coaster I'm going to use or whoever's going to use. I have this really, really pretty stamp that my friend has designed through Wild Whisper. It's called The Girl with a Flare. May your day be happy. And it's got this really, really cool large flower, right? And I thought this would look so cool on one of these right here. And just kind of going across. And it doesn't have to fill up the whole coaster. He's going to color. So the entire coaster for him is going to be colored in. And where are you going to put your coaster, Brandon? Um, at my desk. At your desk. So we're all working at home. We're doing school at home. So I'm just going to have this go right across right here. And so this is just a cool way. And I like to use my Misty for this. And Catherine's going to be joining us here shortly because she decided she wanted to use this cutie little unicorn. So we're going to come back to the unicorn here shortly. So I'm going to stamp mine up. Make sure my paper must. Oh, it's stuck. So you can do free art. You can stamp and then color it in. So many ways to do this. I think this is a great way for the kids to create some sort of art and then have it last permanently. Now, the, the way for these blanks to work, the key thing for sublimation is it needs to fit on something that's polyester. So I'm just inking and stamping this up like I normally would stamp. And these particular coasters already have a texture on them that is made for the markers to stick to it. Uh, Artist Free also has luggage tags they have coasters they have a bunch of stuff but you could also use this on any kind of fabric that has polyester in it which i think is fantastic so i'm just stamping this on and all of it works the same you would stamp on a piece of copy paper or color or do your artwork on whatever copy paper and then transfer it with heat and you have all those different heat presses 
but a regular old home iron works really well. If the image is too big, um, then you have to move the iron around and you might have some spots that don't get as much heat, but it would work. It just, it's a little bit more, you don't just like for that, for my iron, my iron, the, the fattest part of the iron fits over the entire coaster and you have to let it sit with a little bit of pressure for about five minutes. Ooh, look at you go. He's like blending colors. Are you going to do the teeth or leave them white? I'm going to do the teeth. So your teeth are going to... the pirate. So... I got blasted in the eye. <laughs> he's got black eye. Yeah. No. <laughs> you going to give him orange teeth? Oh, he's got rotten teeth. Yuck. <laughs> it's a pirate. <laughs> it's a pirate. It's a gross pirate. So here we go. All right. So there is my stamp. So I just stamped it a couple of times to get a really good image. And then now I can start coloring this in. All right. Is it almost done? And I'm going to show you how to build. I'll come back to coloring this in a minute. Boop, boop. Here, I'll just take this out. I don't need this part anymore. So you're almost done. And I'm going to show you guys how to build this. It's so, so simple to build this to get ready to go into your iron. And I need my special tape. And let me know when you're ready. Ooh. Do you like having your own? I'm just going to cut off that little bit of extra paper so it doesn't damage. Actually, I'm just going to rip it. And if your paper doesn't have anything on it, then you can totally use it again. There you, go. you got it. All right. Okay. So how we're going to do this is you take your paper, right? Mm -hmm. And I want you to place your coaster white side down because the back side, that's like the part that touched the ground. So you happy with that? Mm -hmm. Happy well, with that? All of the. Mm -hmm. You want to get all the face? We'll do it on camera so you can see. There you go. Okay. All right. So see, look, the kids are working. Now, the rest of the part where we do the heating, mommy's going to do. Use? Yeah, I'm just going to get it started because it's... Okay. Uh, okay, so where do you think you're going to put this? Oh, no, I need my scissors. Where would my scissors go? They're there. Hiding. So where do you think you're going to put the tape? Um, right here. Mm -hmm. And you think one spot or do you think two is good? Three spots. Three? Okay, so this is a special tape. It actually can be reused over and over, and you can put this in a tape dispenser, or you can just, I mean, however you want to. It's a special tape that can take the heat, and it won't damage whatever you're sticking it to. So it just makes sure. Why do you think we're taping it, Brandon? So it doesn't move. So when we go to the iron, um, it doesn't flip around. Do you want to do four or three? Do four. You want to do four just to really make sure? Yeah. Okay, and then there's the last one. You don't need a lot. And this, actually, we could probably reuse these four tape pieces it on Catherine's. Catherine's and mine. So I'm going to make another one. <laughs> All right. So then we're going to flip this over because you're going to want the heat. But we don't want the ink. If it happens to go through, mm -hmm. whoop, there goes a piece of paper. Uh, we don't want it to go through and hit the iron. So before we put the iron on, we just put that protective that layer. You could tape that on, but do you think it's necessary? Mm -hmm. Nah, I don't think so. I'm going to go take this one. All right. So, kitchen. Catherine, are you ready? She's got hers going. So, I'm going to show you while she comes over here and we transfer kids. I'm going to show you how we can color these. So, basically, we're just going to come in and just like any other marker. And I'll have these done, these ones the kids and I have done. They'll be in the in my Instagram channel. I'll be posted on Facebook. And if you're watching this after this has gone live, it was in the thumbnail. The finished product was in the thumbnail. So I'm just coloring it like I normally would color it. You can be as detailed. I'm going to leave all this white. I just want to leave it pretty. And so, but the main part of my flower is going to be yellow. I'm going to make this like autumn colors because we're about to head into autumn. All right, Catherine, are you ready? Yes. Have you colored your unicorns up? Look at her. Okay, so what we did is we went ahead and she wanted to stamp this. So this is getting the kids into stamping and stuff. So same concept I did with this big stamp. But smaller. Whoop, but smaller. It's okay. Go put your thing on there. So she's already started coloring her unicorns in. We're with these colors. With those pretty colors. And I'm, I'm just using the black to retrace the lines of the face. So okay. You so you place that down, and this is the space that she has to fit it in. Now, because these stamps are much smaller and she's just going to have these four images, let's not go so close to the edge. Okay. Uh, she can place it. Oops. <laughs> um, I want it to be like. She's very indecisive. Down. Okay. okay. We don't want the tail to be too close. Why don't. Hang on, hang on. Let's see. Why don't, you don't want to have it angled up. I cleaned this so we can move it around. No, I want it to be like down like this one. Okay. Okay. So let's so do. Like I don't want the tail to get too close. I don't want to get too close to the edges. So that looks like it works, right? 
Okay. Okay. So take your fingers off. Take your fingers off. Yeah. Okay. And then it's got to stick to the lid. There you go. Oops, now, careful the camera. It? Can I ink it? Okay. Lift it up. Can I ink it? Yeah, you can ink it. You can do the whole thing. All right. So let's move this up. And then it's tap, 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 upside down right there. Tap, tap, tap. Push down hard enough. You got to get ink on all of it. There we go. Okay. That lift up. Take that all over. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Push it. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. So now let's make sure that lined up correctly. Oops, a little bit off. I was afraid of that. So I didn't check when you lifted it up. So hang on, I just want to make sure that we're in. I think we're good. Okay, you ready? Oh, yes. they're touching it. Go all the way down. Just down, down, down. There you go. And then squish. Okay. There you go. So this is a stamping platform. Those of you who've watched all my stamping stuff, there it is. That looks good. Can I call it right. now? Yeah, she's so excited. Here, take it. There you go. I'll clean it. Yeah, I'll yeah, color it right here. You and I can color it at the same time. So there we go. And so it's so simple. It's so easy. I'm going to use and I'm going to add red into mine. And so you can take stamps. You can do free art. Like I said, I'll show you what these look like when they're all done. But it's a way for the kids to be a little creative or adults. Truly, it's anybody here. Adults That's and boring. kids to be creative. And then to not just create something that's on paper that goes on the fridge, you now have a permanent thing that they can put anywhere. So it does kind of take their art to the next level and it's something that's a little more permanent and not just on paper that they don't know what to do with. And my son, actually Catherine, you started creating something and she's like, mom, I don't like this. This doesn't look good. I'm like, well, guess what? It's just on paper, throw the paper away. We haven't taken it to the coaster yet. So you can try your art four or five different times before you decide, yep, that's exactly what I want. So you can be totally happy with like you messed up coloring or whatever it is before you do the final transfer with the heat to the surface. So t-shirts are awesome. So things that you can definitely find. They definitely be safe with the iron. Yeah. Well, that's what mommy's going to be doing the iron, yes. right? So things that you can definitely do um, that have polyester. There's all different kinds of fabrics have polyester. So that's really, really easy. And you can just look at the label. It says polyester. But if you're looking for things a little bit that are more solid, you can't just go out and buy any coaster because it may not have that element in there, the polyester, the compound that this iron ink needs to transfer over. So. Yeah, so you need a certain type. You do need a certain type. You're absolutely right. Okay, so I have all the yellow bits. There we go. So we're gonna continue coloring and we will come back and we will, I can't remember what color I made that petal. I think it was purple. I'll have to do one in red. I'm gonna call. Actually, I want to have some of these in white. Maybe I'll just alternate it. Why don't you look at your thing then? I can't tell if I made that first one red. Because the orange, so here's the deal. If you look at the color that I'm doing on here, and then it's look at the dark. red, right, it looks very different. So it, it there is a big difference between the two colors, and it's very, it, it's very, very Frustrating. subtle. Frustrating. Well, it's kind of like when you go do painting um, on ceramic, the colors they show you, like it, yeah, when it's done, it looks really different. It doesn't, it's more vibrant and more true to color yeah. than it would be. You're done. All right. So Wait, can I color the background black? I think it look better with it's white. You could, but you think you might mess up? No. <laughs> you want the whole thing black? Well, I want a different color than the black room, like my colors that I use, like these, but different sections. Okay. Somebody use the black to color all the sections. All the white spots? Like no. the whole back, I don't understand. No, like they like color like a square, so each unicorn gets a square. Oh, you want to have each unicorn in a square? Yeah. Okay. Well. So they can each do the different backgrounds. How are you going to get them to have different? Hang on. How are you going to get them to have different backgrounds right now without? Because that's really hard to get through these lines because we need them close together. I was going to do sections like that. Oh, just a half section? Yeah. Oh, so there's a top and the bottom? Yeah, but then I can, like, alter it, the color between each one. Your call. Your art. See, here's, they can have fun with it. And guess what? If she gets to the point where she's like, I don't like that anymore, then we can start over, and she can make her own, and we don't have to iron this on and make this permanent. It all depends on Look at me if she likes it. 
she made a line. So we're going to keep coloring. We're going to finish this up. Like I said, at the very end of this video or when this video is over, when we're done ironing all these together, because it's just too hard to iron with the kids next to me. I don't want to deal with heat with the kids right here next to me. I'm going to iron them and then they will be on the thumbnail once this video is over. But I will also post this to my Facebook, Erin Reed Makes and Instagram, Erin Reed Makes. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Links for the artist spree and I'll put the links for the other stamps and stuff in our in my um information section the artist free link is there already and it's just cool the kids could have so much fun creating their Wait, own did that cool off already that's cool already you want to touch it it takes about 10 minutes to let it fully cool down before it's ready to go uh, we and, can actually and, say that and does it does it dad. does it come off Look. no no it's pretty fun right all right so it's purple now yes that was going to be all be purple so you got a totally purple background and you can go over the edge that way know, you go all be, the way it won't be catch it won't be in the thing though. Right. All right. So is it fine if I color out the lines? Okay. Yes, totally fine if you color out the lines that way. Definitely. All right. You ready to say goodbye? Yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Okay.